Hello lovelies, let's start crafting and make it till our eyes smile, that's what I like to say. Today's video is part of Napkin DIY Challenge. You can find the link to the playlist in my description box below. Now let's get started. I'm going to begin by using this Hello Hobby Desert Tan Chalk Paint and this bottle I got from the 99 cent store. And I just paint the whole bottle twice and then I do a dabbing motion and I like the texture that it leaves. I don't know, I just like doing that and it makes it look really pretty. Now I'm gonna take this mustardy color. I get this at the Dollar Tree acrylic paint and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It, I don't know, if you wanna do French country and you wanna do shabby chic, I'm telling you, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I just go in a dabbing motion again and just keep layering my colors until my eyes are smiling and my heart is singing. Now this is the napkin I chose to use for this project. I love the colors. It reminds me of spring. Very beautiful. I just cut one of the little pieces off. And if it's two ply napkin, you take the back off and it peels easy. Just take your time and peel it. If it tears a little, that is fine. And just go on really slow and I guarantee you it will just peel right off. So now I'm getting that napkin. I just cut around it some excess of the napkin I didn't want to use. And then I just got a bowl of water and a really little paintbrush. And I just dab it in the water. And then I just start putting it along the sides. And I want it to have like that feathery look. Kind of like a little tear look because I want to go that French country shabby chic. Oh my goodness, I just enjoy and love using napkins, tissue paper, and craft paper with the Mod Podge on projects. I think it's so much fun, and you can do so many styles. I mean, have at it. Sky's the limit when you're doing things with this kind of supplies. Now I did put one thin coat of Mod Podge around the bottle and added my napkin to the bottle. I let it dry, and once it was dried, it's time to decorate. I double knotted this beautiful, it's like a fabric lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree, my favorite to use, and I just double knotted it. I got a scrap of lace and just put it right there on the neck of that bottle with that ribbon, and I pinch it right in the top, on the top, so then it kind of gathers. I decided to put some bling on it, and those are from Totally Dazzled. And these are my so much, these are another one of my favorites to use. I get them at Walmart's assortment of colors and they're little silk flowers. You can find those in the sewing section. And I did add another rhinestone bling and some paper flowers, but isn't that gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. I love it. Now for the next DIY, I'm using these two bunnies I got from the 99 cent store for $1.29 each. They were really cute already, but you know me, I wanted to put some crafty laney love to them. I begin by removing the bows and you can peel the paper off if you like, but I'm probably going to just paint over it and I'm going to use the back side of the bunnies anyway. And I'm using my Hello Hobby chalk paint and desert tan. I just did one good coat in the front, the side I'm going to be using. And on the back, I did two coats. And don't forget to get into those little crevices. Now for the base of the bunnies, after they were done being painted with the desert tan, I got that beautiful mustard color acrylic paint that I get from the Dollar Tree. And I just do a light brush on the base. I want it to match the beautiful bottle that we just did. Now I want it to be a little different and I chose this napkin here because I thought it matched the napkin I used on the bottle. 
And now I'm going to remove the backing because it was a two ply. After I did that, I went and got my Mod Podge and I'm using the mat. I like using it for things like this because I don't want it to be too shiny. I don't know, I just like that shabby chic French country look. And most of the time they're not real shiny shiny. So that's why using matte is my favorite. And I'm just gonna put it all on the bunny. I don't use a lot, just a mm, little bit. And I kind of take my time right here because I want it to kind of dry a little before I add my napkin. So it's not too, too wet. It's still really tacky where it's gonna stick to the napkin really nice. And I want to make sure I get the edges of the ears and the body. So when I kind of use my scissors or whatever I'm using, you can use scissors, you can use a sanding block and clear off the edges. It comes off really nice and clean. At this point, I do not put any Mod Podge on the base of the bunny on the stand because I do not want the napkin to stick to that. So. It's really simple, I just went along the line of the feet and the base. So right where those two connect, I kind of use that as my guide just to go across nice and even. So now I'm just gonna get the napkin and I'm just gonna lay it right on top of the bunny and I kind of put it flush to where the base is, press down and a nice trick would be to put some saran wrap on top or some wax paper I can use sometimes and you just press it. I didn't show myself doing that, but sometimes I like to do that to keep, you know, wrinkles. It's a lot easier. It doesn't stick to your hands as much and the paper don't stick and rip either. So those are just little hints. So as I'm doing that, I make sure I go and fold it over to the sides and then I get my scissors and I'm just gonna scrape. And it, the paper sticks and it goes and removes so easily on the edges. So you have a nice clean look. So now I'm getting some more of that paint and I'm the mustard color and I'm just gonna go over the sides and all over, not a lot. You can do just a little, it's to what your preference is. You don't even have to do this, or you can use a lighter color. And I'm just dabbing and then going around the edges. I don't know, I thought it looked really pretty and it matched that bottle. So I did that to both bunnies. Now, so I can make a whole set I'm using the same fabric lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And again, I'm just gonna tie it around the bunny and I'm gonna do it in two little knots and then I just glue them in place. And I do glue the tails because, you know, I don't like unruly tails. I want them to stay where I put them, where I want them to, to lay. <laughs> I added that little bow that came on the bunny. I added it on top of that other bow to have some layers and that's what's so great when you're doing shabby chic french country try to layer it's all about the layering that makes it so beautiful and i don't know your eyes it's just like eye candy for your eyes when you look at things and you just have all these different textures and different things on something and you're just looking and it's just absolutely gorgeous so I'm adding these little baby rosettes, the silk roses, to match the bottle. So pretty. I was debating if I should add a little pearl on there. Let me know in the comments. Should I add pearls to this? Or at least one little pearl? Hmm. It was kind of thinking maybe I should. You let me know. So I'm getting some more of that lace that I have, the scraps lace, and I just cut pieces. And then as I glue it to the neck, 
I put a dab of glue. I like saying that word dab. I noticed that right now. <laughs> Sorry. And I just pinched the lace. So it kind of gives it that little ruffle look right in the center. And I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now this ribbon here I got from Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I'm not too sure. I've had it for some time now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find it at Hobby Lobby though. And I wrapped it around the feet. I just put a little bit of glue on the back and then I just wrapped it around twice and then cut and then add a little bit more glue to keep it in place. And I chose this because I thought it matched the green on the bottle and the, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of the leaves on the, the picture that we placed, the other napkin. And I thought they matched so well. You can always put maybe some moss there instead if you like. Okay, here is my final look. Tell me what you think. Is it French country, shabby chic? I don't know. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You let me know what you think. Well, thank you, my crafty lovelies, for visiting me today. Please give this video a big thumbs up. I so appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure crafting with you today, crafty lovelies. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do so and click that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And visit me on my social medias. I'm at Instagram, Facebook. Mwah. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes, lovely. Stay kind. Be kind to yourself and others. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video.